we're always inheriting these terms that really fall short and every generation then tries to breathe new life into it. So, you know, the idea of being Asian American, it's really not that old of an idea. It's from the late 60s. It was much more political in nature when the idea first originated and and some people lament kind of how far we've fallen from that standard, but I think that it's sort of exciting too that every new moment, every kind of historical turning point forces a reevaluation of what this term means. It can get pretty semantic sometimes, but I think that also is just the nature of this very amorphous community and one that I think does want to pursue connections and linkages and um, kind of explored something collective only without a sense of like what happened before, without a sense of that history, you can feel very adrift and you can feel very alone. I think for a lot of Asian Americans, you know, once they discover that there is this history, it unlocks something like it's sort of like it doesn't it, it's not like it opens this door that you have to go through, but you at least know that there's a door there and that you haven't just sort of been walking aimlessly by yourself all this time. Um, you know, and a lot of there's a lot of interesting demographic. Um, there's a lot of interesting work suggesting that in the in the next few decades, the sort of central um, kind of immigrant group within Asian America will be people from South Asia, like India and Pakistan. That's sort of exciting to me to think about how this category will change yet again. Like it started off very kind of like Japanese American, Chinese American. It's become kind of more conscious of its own limitations, like Korean Americans, Filipinos, like there's all sorts of ways in which the categories borders are constantly shifting and it reflects the sort of a set of changing desires, changing possibilities and changing necessities. Um, that's pretty vexing to some people, but I actually find it pretty exciting. And, and I think it just sort of reminds you that you're not alone and that you never have been alone, that there are, people have been having these conversations and trying to figure out what this means for, for decades. And we're part of this tradition, 